allow me to introduce myself, Ian Bradley, D3D4's roving reporter. And tonight we're going to the Carabao Cup tie between Barnsley and Carlisle United at Oatwell. Now the ground's only about 10 to 15 minute walk away from the train station. So, uh, which is pretty good, but mostly uphill. For an old man, man like me, it's not really good news, but here goes. Supplies bought. A cheese and onion sandwich and a Roca Seed energy drink for under £2. Stuff, stuff stadium catering. Overpriced rubbish. And over the brow of the hill from the train station up Barla Road, going down Oakwell's right at the bottom of the hill. One of the easiest grounds in the country to get to from the state train station. Still very early. Not six o'clock yet, but uh, I like to get ahead of the rush hour traffic, especially on midweek games. We're just at the back of the old West Stand now, which is the oldest part of the ground. The, what, the only stand that's not been redeveloped in the last 20 years. Through those gates is where the away fans go. To the, I think it's the South Stand, the away uh, turnstiles. Not 100%, but... Got quite a lot of time to burn before I get in the ground. North Stand, sorry I said South Stand, but I was wrong, it's North Stand. And that is the away end, which is pretty good, even for championship standards. The CK Beckett standoff, uh, otherwise known as the Pontefract end, which is the Barnsley Cup. We're going round to the quite impressive footy, uh, frontage of Barnsley, which was the Superstore box office and reception areas. Always thought it was quite impressive, this. Programme bought and ticket uh, got from the ticket office. Look at the price of that. People would still rather stay in and watch Emmerdale. £5 for a night's football. Alright, I'm an old man and I get a concession. But it's still only £10 for adults. It nearly blew away there. And the programme, yeah, it's a reduced... A reduced edition today, but it's only a part. It's only a one pound fifty. Uh, I'd heard that Stevenage were the only were the first EFL club to completely abandon match programmes and go to an online version. Yeah, it's progress of sorts, but uh, it's still very very sad, especially for an old dinosaur like me who've been uh, buying football programmes for donkeys years. This is my view of uh, proceedings at Oakwell tonight. Not a bad view at all, really. I'm on uh, the lower tier of the East Stand, and uh, I'm not. T I can't uh, publish any match footage, according to James. So I shall just give you a half and full time summary of proceedings here at Oakwell. It's about an hour to kick off, and it's a beautiful sunny evening here in Barnsley. So uh, I'm hoping for a good game. I'll see you later. About 25 minutes now to kick off. Both teams are out warming up. I'd like to really say that the crowd, the crowd are coming in and it's filling up, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Looks to be a very sparse attendance today. They've obviously shut the uh, west stand because um, because of the anticipated attendance. I would have thought. Are both teams warming up? Still looking forward to it. Both teams this season have won one and lost one of the two league games, so uh, they'll be, both teams will be looking to pick their forms up, uh, form up a little bit. What a turnout for a Tuesday night! Here come the teams. Barnsley in the traditional red and white and Carlisle in like a mink green away outfit. Half time, Barnsley nil, Carlisle United won. And nobody can say that Carlisle didn't deserve it. Some heroic defending, one or two good on and Colin saves and a goal midway through the half 
and Carlisle have had some decent other chances as well. Obviously more will come in my comprehensive match report later, but I'll see you at full time. 5,208 watched a comprehensive win by three goals to nil to Carlisle United over championship team Barnsley tonight at Oakwell. Unbelievable how a championship side can get so thoroughly outplayed and in truth Carlisle should have won by more goals. Uh, there will obviously be a more comprehensive report on d3d4football.com late, probably later tonight or tomorrow but now the Carlisle players are coming to acknowledge their 385 fans that have made their trip up from Cumbria so that's it from me for my first book uh, first foray into uh, video blogging I hope you enjoy it I'll see you later bye bye